Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Nurse Eunice with part two of the medical terminology series. We do apologize for having a technical issue, but we'll get started in about 10 seconds. Continuing from our previous um, video, QS equals quantity sufficient, such as when you're collecting blood, we want to make sure that you have a sufficient quantity inside of the tubes. RACE or race is the medical term that stands for rescue, alarm, contain, and extinguish. It's the priorities you should take when managing a fire emergency. R is the medical abbreviation for rectal. R slash O is royal rule out. So if a patient comes in your facility with a respiratory infection, we may have to rule out pneumonia, which means that we'd have to get a culture of their sputum or their mucus. RBC is red blood cell or red blood count. RSEP is short for respiratory, as in the respiratory system. RN is the medical abbreviation for registered nurse. ROM is the medical abbreviation for range of motion. RX is the medical abbreviation for prescription. SOB is the medical abbreviation for shortness of breath or short of breath. SSE is not a procedure that we oftentimes do. However, SSE stands for soap suds enema. STAT is the medical abbreviation for immediately at once. So call the nurse into the room stat. That means there must be a medical emergency. SUPP or SUP is the abbreviation for suppository. There are mainly two types of medications given as a suppository. It could be an antipyretic, something that's going to um, decrease the temperature or um, such as Tylenol. It can also be like an anticonvulsant. So we can give Tylenol and some other medications in a suppository form into the rectal area. Temp is easy. It's the abbreviation for temperature. TIA is the abbreviation for a transit ischemic attack or a short stroke. So it's a stroke where the symptoms actually subside. TID, three times a day. TKO, to keep open. When it comes to IV fluid, sometimes we'll have a low flow and we'll say keep the rate TKO. TPR groups your vital signs together. So that would be temperature, pulse, and respiration in that order. TX is the medical abbreviation for treatment. Up at lib. Up as desired. Your patient can get up at lib, means they can walk around their room freely without your assistance. UNG is not a common abbreviation during the current times. However, that is the abbreviation for ointment. VS 
vital signs. W slash C, wheelchair. W A, while awake. Your patient needs to use the incentive spirometer every two hours while awake. WNL is always a good thing. That means it's within normal limits. There's nothing for you to report to the nurse because your readings are normal. X is the medical abbreviation for times. Y-O-B, year of birth. We have a sign or a symbol here that represents less than. C-S, central supply. In your hospitals, there's usually going to be an area where you can go and get equipment and that would be the CS room or the central supply room. It's not on your floor. It usually it's a separate area, and that's where you'll go and get specialized equipment and supplies that are not common to your floor or your patients that you would normally have on your floor in your department. DR, delivery room. E-E-N-T. Eye, ear, nose, and throat. So yes, we have doctors and nurses who can specialize in E-E-N-T. E-D slash E-R. Be careful using the term E-D because that could mean erectile dysfunction. But as far as the locations within your facility, E-D stands for emergency department and E-R stands for emergency room. GYN, gynecology, or the study of the female reproductive organs. ICCU is the intensive coronary care unit. So this is different than an ICU in the intensive coronary care unit. We're taking care of people after invasive coronary or heart procedures. So if someone had open heart surgery, they might not go to the ICU. They would go to the unit that specializes in cardiovascular intensive care. MRD, medical record department. NICU, also referred to as NICU is the neonatal intensive care unit. So if a when a baby's born, we call them a neonate. And if that baby requires extra care, such as if they're jaundiced, if they have a seizure or respiratory issues, they're gonna go to the NICU for care and monitoring. MICU is medical intensive care unit. So this may have been a person who was in a car wreck with multiple injuries or broken bones. They're going to go to the MICU. If your facility has an ICU, some facilities have multiple critical care units, but they are specialized based upon the type of injury or condition the patient may have. OB is obstetrics. So that's where the pregnant moms, that's the unit they would be on. OR, operating room. OT, occupational therapy. Those, um, that would be the department that assists with the fine motor skills, teaches people how to use their hands, how to feed themselves, especially if someone has Parkinson's or some type of hand injury. Let's say they have a stroke and they're weak on one side. Physical therapy helps with the large muscles. Occupational therapy will help with those fine motor skills. Pets or peds. Is short for pediatrics. PAR, P-A-R-R, -R, 
is the post anesthetic or anesthesia recovery room. So this is where your resident or your patient would go after surgery. There'll be nurses there monitor monitoring them to make sure they're not having any side effects from the anesthesia. And once the person is more alert, they leave the post anesthesia recovery room and they return to your floor or to the ICU. RR is the medical abbreviation for recovery room. Sick U or SICU is the surgical intensive care unit. So if someone has a major surgery, they may go to the sick U instead of the ICU. A slash O is alert and oriented. ACT is short for activity. This one's easy. Assist is short for assistance. So out of bed with the assist of two. They need assistance from two people in order to get out of bed. In G, nasogastric. Brady is the medical abbreviation that stands for slow, as in bradycardia or a slow heart rate. Bill, B I L, is short for bilateral. B S C means bedside commode, it's that portable commode, the one with the handles that you can sit next to a patient's bed. And that's going to be useful if your patient is unable to walk all the way to the bathroom. You can put a bedside commode next to the bed, stand them, pivot them, sit them down in the bedside commode, help them wipe, clean themselves, and put them back into the bed. AAO times three is awake, alert, and oriented times three. That means to person, place, and time. Hypo is the medical abbreviation that means lower than normal. Hyper, higher than normal. The abbreviation A or the prefix A is absence or without. So if you see that in front of a word, usually the person is lacking. PVD, peripheral, excuse me, peripheral vascular disease, meaning that they have circulation issues. Perla, P-E-R-R-L-A, means that the resident or the patient's pupils are equal, round, reactive to light, and accommodation. So that would be a normal finding. WBC is the abbreviation for white blood cell. ABG is the abbreviation for Arterial blood gas. AED means automated external defibrillator. It's the device that is used to help normalize a person's heart rhythm when they are in cardiac arrest. DYS as a prefix in front of a word means difficulty or pain such as dysuria or painful urination. Erith refers to a color. Erith means red. Fx is fracture. N slash V means nausea and vomiting. FF is the medical abbreviation for force fluids, 
we would have a order for FF or forced fluids if a patient is suffering from dehydration. HS is hour of sleep or bedtime. H2O is water. Hemi is the medical abbreviation for half. Incont is short for incontinent. In other words, your patient is unable to control his or her bladder or bowel function. So they could be incontinent, which means they're wet with either urine or fecal matter. ML is short for milliliter, referring to a quantity of fluid. MED, med, is short for medication. OS is short for left eye. OD means right eye. O2 is oxygen. And OU means both eyes. Poly is a prefix that means many. So if a person has polyuria, that means that they have an increased urination frequency. They're letting out a lot of urine, so more than normal. Pre is before, so pre-op. We have to have a pre-op bath performed on the patient. It means that they have to be bathed before surgery, usually with a specialized cleaning agent. Post is after. P is also after. DVT is a medical abbreviation that means deep vein thrombosis. In other words, there is a blood clot in a vein. RT is right. S with the minus sign beside it is without. CXR is chest X-ray. T B S P is tablespoon. T S P is teaspoon. Tab is short for tablet, referring to a pill. UTI is the medical abbreviation for urinary tract infection. U slash A, when we have you collect the urine specimen, it is normally for a U slash A or a urinalysis. We need to know about the pH level, how many proteins and sugars are within that urine sample. WT is the medical abbreviation for weight. D is the medical abbreviation for day. QD is every day. And everybody, looks like we have reached the end of our slides again. So whenever you combine part one of the medical terminology with part two, you have over 150 medical terms that you can practice at your own pace. Again, this is Nurse Eunice with Florida Training Academy, and our next video will be shown on Friday. So you all thank you for your patience, and we look forward to seeing you then. Have a great day.